Hello everyone, now let's understand about the list in Python. So list is a one of the most important topic. So if you will go for any interview also, one question definitely they will ask regarding list. So first they will ask what is list and what are the feature of a list? What is the difference between the list and tuple? Tuple we will understand later. And also they will give some coding questions related to the list and that coding question you have to answer it. So we had to understand list in depth so that actually we are going to do so in this particular video first we will understand uh, what is list what are the feature of list and then we will see how actually we can create a list uh, what are the different method which is available everything we are going to understand so let's understand what is list a list is a built-in data structure in a python so list is one of the built-in data structure in a python it is used to store multiple item in a single variable list generally we use to store multiple item in a single variable for taking example you can see i have created one list in this list you can see i am storing the multiple item in a single variable right so you gen list generally we use to store multiple item in a single variable list are ordered so whatever the value we have right this all the values will be always in the order format it is a mutable mutable means suppose you want to change this value so in the list it is possible you can change the value that's why we call it as a mutable and it can contain elements of different data types so you can see the string values also there string values also there's integer values also there like multiple data type value also you can store so what is list list generally be used to store multiple item in a single variable it is order it is a mutable and it can contain element of a different data type that you have to say now what are the key feature of a list it is a order element have a defined order and it can be accessed by their index so the first key feature is a order so list are always in a order format and it can be accessed by their index so you can see whatever the value is stored here right so this all the value we can access by using their index so the first index is always zero first index is zero so for this uh, one right the first index is zero so if i'll write l and zero l and zero so if i will execute this you can see i am getting a uh, this value this value is one right let me change it to a let me change it to a now you let me execute you can see this value i am able to access means whatever the value is stored here this will always be in the order format and that actually you can access by using a index now suppose you want to access this particular value so this is a zero index this is the first index and this is the second index right so if i write l2 and if i'll execute you can see i am able to access this particular value means whatever the value is stored that is in order format and that actually we can access through a index so that is the order so it is always in order that is a key feature the second thing is a, it is a mutable means whatever the value is there right it can be changed suppose this l2 is 4 right this value i want to change it to 5 now if i'll execute and if i'll execute l you can see this 4 right it became 5 because what we had in whatever the l in second index whatever the values there that i want to change to the 5 so you can see in final list what actually we are getting a 3 and then it became a 5 previously it was 4 right but we have changed it to the 5 that's why we call it as a mutable means we can change the value the third one is like heterogeneous it can store element of a different data types like integer string floats so you can see this is the example here we are storing a string here we are storing a integer and also you can store the float like multiple data type value you can store here fourth is the dynamic size list can grow or shrink as elements are added or removed so in a list we can add the value and we can remove the value so it can grow or it can be uh, shrink also so suppose i want to add a new value so we have a different method Suppose I will use l dot append. I want to add a new value six. Now if I will print l, you can see six got added. Means you can add a value and you can remove a value. So that is the advantage. So what is list? A list is built-in data structure in a Python which we use to store multiple item in a single variable. List are order mutable and it can contain a element of a different data type. What are the key feature? Always remember it is order. It is a mutable. It can contain the multiple data types and also it can dynamically it can grow or it can shrink so that is the thing you have to remember 
now let's see how actually we can create a list and we will understand about the order mutable heterogeneous and different method we have that we will understand now how to create a list creating a list is very simple right suppose uh, first you have to declare a variable suppose I am declaring one variable a you have to open a square bracket this is the square bracket in this square bracket no multiple value is can contain it can contain the value multiple value so this is how the list uh, will look like now if you want to check the type of a you can see it is a list so this is how actually we can create a list now how to create an empty list if you had to create an empty list what you have to write first you have to declare a variable and if, if you'll do like this and if you'll check the type of a you can see it is list but as of now in a you can see it is an empty list so that's how actually this is the command for creating an empty list now index so we have to understand about the index index is very much important in a list so suppose this is the list I have let me create one list this is the list I have. so always remember the index is start index start with a 0 and index and with minus one minus one what does it mean so if you want to access this element right so whatever this element is stored this always store in a order format and if you want to access this with the help of index we can access so if I am writing index start with zero it means so this value right this is a zero index this is the one index this is the second index this is the third index so you have to count like this is the zero index value this is the first index value this is the second index value so index start with the zero that you have to remember now suppose I want to access the first element so what I will write a zero if I write a zero you can see I am getting this particular value if I write a three a three means this is the zero index this is the first index this is the second index and this is the third index right a third means I should get the value 5 so if I will execute I am getting the 5 so index always start with the 0 and like that you can access so and it is end with a minus 1 so from last you want to access then you have to count from starting we were counting from 0 1 2 right from last if you have to count you have to count minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so suppose you want to access the last element so if I write a minus 1 you can see I am getting a 9 if you want to access the second last element what you have to write second last will be a minus 2 so you can see I am able to access the 7 the index start with the 0 index end with the minus 1 that you have to remember the third is the mutable mutable what is mutable means and this is the common interview question also mutable means you can change the value suppose I want to change the first value of this list with a 7 this first value I want to change with the 7 so if I write a 0 equal to the 7 the first value will be get changed now if I print a you can see previously it was 1 right now it got changed with the 7 because we, we can change the value heterogeneous means list can store the multiple value it can store the same data type it can store the multiple data types and uh, like that and also it can contain the float also like this and if I will check the type of a it is a list only dynamic size means we can add the value and we can remove the value so if I write a dot append 5 and if I print a you can see 5 got added 5 got added this is this was the list right in this list 5 got added so we can add and we can remove the value also